This is the GH561 GPS Trek Pro, produced by Globalsat Technologies. On the front of the packaging for the GH561, you have a life-size image of the device. On the side of the packaging, you have some screenshots. On the back of the packaging, you have the specifications as well as the package contents of the device. On the bottom of the packaging, you have the serial number. Inside the box, you have the GH561 GPS Trek Pro, a printed version of the Quick Start Guide, a lanyard, a USB charging cable, and a CD-ROM that includes the USB driver, the travel manager software, Quick Start Guide, and user manual. This is the main screen for the GH561. It has your e-compass, it has your battery indicator, the e-compass indicator, if this icon is flashing, the compass must be recalibrated, has your local time as well as the GPS signal strength. One bar will indicate a poor signal, two bars is a good signal, and three bars is a strong signal. The GH561 has six buttons, three on each side of the device. This top button here is the power or backlight button. The second button down is the mark a waypoint or escape. Third button down is the find a waypoint that's previously been marked. Over here we have the track back button to navigate to a route pre-planned on the travel manager software. The second button down on this side is the scroll button. Third button down on this side is the OK or select button. The top of the device has the lanyard loophole. The back of the device has the USB charging port as well as the serial number of the device. To charge your GH561, you remove the cover on the mini USB port on the back of the device. Take the mini USB end of the included cable, plug that into the device. Take the other end of the USB cable and plug that into your computer. To install the included lanyard on the GH561, you take the lanyard, you take the thin end of the string and feed it through the lanyard loop hole. Then you loop the rest of the lanyard through that open hole. and pull it snug. To calibrate the compass on the GH561, you press the Find Waypoint button with the OK button at the same time, and it'll go into calibration mode. You spin the GH561 counterclockwise, and then it'll change direction on you, and then you spin it sideways or tumble it over and over end. It'll go to calibration OK. The compass has been calibrated. The GH561 can store up to 10 waypoints. To navigate to these different waypoints you press the mark waypoint button. Each waypoint is indicated by an icon such as a bus, a boat, a plane, a car, the beach, mountains, city, a tent, a building, or footprints. To set a waypoint, you press the scroll button to the yes option, push OK, and then it will ask you to confirm that you want to mark this location. Press OK to confirm. That waypoint has been marked. To get back to a marked waypoint, you press the find waypoint button, a list will come up of all of your marked waypoints. Press OK to select which waypoint to navigate to. Once you get to this screen, you will have two options, either Go To or Delete. In this case, we're going to Go To. Press OK. The next screen will tell you the heading to take, as well as the distance and the estimated time of arrival. And that concludes our introduction of the GH561 GPS Trek Pro, produced by Global Set Technologies.